This video is sponsored by Jacobs Vehicle Systems. Visit jacobsvehiclesystems.com for more information. You'll never make it from New York to L.A., they said. But here I am, almost a San Bernardino. I told them I could set a new truck speed record. Oh, this, this hill is a little steep, eh? <laughs> oh, now, standard issue brakes. Don't fail me now. Oh, now. Okay, okay, we're gonna make it. Hold on, is that a train? Can I beat it? <laughs> you see? I told him I'd make it. No problem. But I have got to do something about those brakes. There's gotta be a better way. So, I declare I shall invent the engine brake! Your truck's brakes are arguably the most important safety system on the truck, and they've come a long way in the past 100 years. From how Clessy Cummins came up with the idea of the engine brake, that's a true story by the way, more or less, to advanced safety systems that employ radar and camera-based technologies that allow for adaptive cruise control and even autonomous operation. It all starts with the brakes. And this year, thanks to an agreement between the EPA, states, and automotive industry players, manufacturers are now creating brake pads with less copper than before. This means brake pads are now being sold with copper being less than 5% by weight. This will become less than 0.5% by 2025. This is kind of a big deal for brake pad manufacturers complying with the copper reduced mandate, and they've all been working far ahead of time to find materials that will dissipate heat as well as or better than copper does. It takes hundreds of tests to get things just right. That means laboratory tests, test track runs, and real-world fleet trials. In fact, manufacturers will likely tell you they've been working for at least the past two years with lots of samples in order to make final judgment on whether the formula to replace copper meets all expectations. So, this all brings us to a very important underlying question. How can you be sure you're getting the most out of your brakes? It's all about preventative maintenance. Dynamics like average length of haul, application, terrain, driver patterns, and tractor-trailer equipment combinations are important factors to consider when determining intervals at which brake linings should be replaced. Beyond brake maintenance, there's another way to keep your brakes in tip-top shape. Find another way to stop. For many trucks, compression release brakes, commonly referred to as Jake brakes, are a great option for this. To talk a bit about them, we've invited Gabe Roberts, Director of Product Development Worldwide Engine Brakes from Jacobs Vehicle Systems to explain how your truck could benefit from using them. Gabe, what are compression release brakes and how do they work? Sure. Um, well, pretty much every heavy duty truck and even medium duty truck today has a compression release engine brake. It is the standard engine brake technology that everybody knows and uses. It's, it's what everybody associates with the term Jake brake. It's actually a very complicated and um, a well-engineered piece of technology that goes in the valve train of the engine. So when the driver turns on the engine brake or the truck commands the engine brake on, what happens is a solenoid valve is activated within the engine, within the valve train that takes lube oil from the engine and applies it to an engine brake actuator. That actuator has many different sizes and styles and configurations. The Cummins one is different from the Freightliner one, which is different from the Navistar one, but they essentially all do the same thing. And once that happens, the actuator extends and it then manipulates the exhaust valve or valves in a way that allows um, compression release events to happen. What that means is when the, when the piston is approaching the top of the compression cycle, the exhaust valve is open just a little bit and all that compressed energy is then dissipated out into the exhaust system. And that's the noise you hear. You hear that, that's the compressed energy. Normally, if you don't have your engine brake, that compressed energy gets returned to the crankshaft and you really don't feel any loss. But by dissipating that energy, we create a, a negative torque on the drivetrain, which then slows the vehicle down. Okay, okay. Can you explain how compression release brakes can help when it comes to brake pad maintenance? When going down a hill or going down a grade, 
you, you need, if you didn't have the engine brake, you'd be using the foundation brakes to accomplish that. There's a tremendous amount of heat and friction that's developed going down the hill that way. And so if you don't have an engine brake, your pads, your linings, they all wear very quickly. So what types of trucks or applications do you think might benefit most from using compression release brakes? I think personally all trucks would benefit, but most applicably, um, the most common are, are line haul trucks, the, the long distance, uh, heavily gross weight vehicles, the ones that we see on the highway, those are the most common ones. So the, those are the guys that are, that are operating their trucks year round, a lot of miles and use the engine brakes a lot and saving the, the brake pads would, would be the best for them. But, you know, there's also, because of everything that the engine brakes used for now, there is a good benefit for like medium duty trucks. Um, and then you look at vocational trucks, you look at a garbage, a garbage truck cycle or a dump truck cycle, how many times they're stopping and starting. That's a lot of wear and tear in your brake pads that the engine brake can help alleviate. So there's a, a lot of value on vocational trucks too. And then I would say one of the more recent growth areas that we've seen is uh, is off highway. Um, you look at uh, even tractors, uh, you look at combines, you look at even mining vehicles. A lot of those off highway vehicles now, they see the same benefits. So they need the same type of performance from their engine brake. Thanks a lot, Gabe. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.